I'm gonna miss my bus. Today is Saturday, and I decided to take a day trip to another city. The past week, and the one before it, was extremely hectic, and I rarely left my home. I thought it was high time for a change of scenery. As you might have gathered from the intro, I almost missed my bus, but eventually managed to hop on at the last minute. About an hour later, I was at my destination. To be honest, I didn't have any specific plans for the day. The only thing I'd arranged was booking a hotel for one night. However, check-in wasn't for another 5 hours, so I had much time to do something interesting. Without much thought, I hopped onto another bus heading closer to the city center. There, I found a quiet spot to have breakfast and work on my project. The last time I had finished designing the entire system architecture. Now I am planning to start developing the backend. But before that, I need to set tasks to ensure I don't overlook anything vital. Here's how I create tasks. I start with the main story and then attach subtasks for both frontend and backend. This way I can monitor the progress of the tasks more precisely. After finishing work with Trello, I walked around the city. The weather was good and I felt happy walking outside, seeing new things and taking a break from my weekly routine. I've had a lot of work lately, so I needed this break. After about an hour, I got tired and went into a nice park to rest. I found a spot under a tree and sat down. I still had some time before I could check into my hotel, so I decided to work on some backend tasks. I set up a virtual environment with poetry on my laptop and then worked on an add-in user registration. I usually use the same project template, so I already have things like user database model. From project to project, initial state of such tables look pretty similar, so I don't need to write it from scratch. I wrote some queries for the database that I will use throughout my project, and added endpoints for the frontend to connect with my backend. Well, it's time to go to the hotel. It takes me about half an hour to get there, so I decided to walk again. At this point, I had already taken more than 13,000 steps, which, to be honest, is not usual for me. Finally, I reached the hotel, checked in and got to my room. After resting, I decided to finalize the functionality related to user registration, sending emails and resetting the password. I added the necessary services, endpoints for the frontend and basic HTML templates for sending emails for password change and email confirmation. In this project, I plan to implement test-driven development, where I will write unit tests and also functional tests. Sounds fun, right? I also managed to work on some small tasks related to the profile and the functionality of choosing the main currency that will be displayed on the overview screen. Either way, I think this is a good result for today. According to YouTube Analytics, more than 90% of my viewers are not subscribers of my channel, and this saddens me a lot. So don't hesitate, 
subscribe to my channel to be the first to receive notifications about new content. I moved the last planet task to done, although it's not very logical because I still plan to test all this functionality, so it's probably better to create a column QA. After working on the application I went for a walk again, but this time not to the city center. Actually, I went in a random direction. Eventually, I reached a park located between residential buildings and sat under a tree again. Sometimes I just really want to sit, do nothing and not think at all. Early in the morning I had breakfast, packed my backpack and decided to go to the first floor of the hotel to work at a more comfortable table. Leaving my room, as always, I remembered that I had forgotten something. This time it was my earbuds. As I mentioned, I wanted to test the functionality I wrote yesterday, but I encountered a very unusual error trying to launch the project. It turned out that my version of PyCharm doesn't work with the Chang'e debugger from Python version 3.11, so I needed to update PyCharm, which I did. Well. I started testing the functionality of creating a new user, as well as the email confirmation. Right now I don't have any automated tests, so I'm testing the API using Postman. I make the same request that my frontend will make. My frontend is a React Native mobile application. So, I started testing user creation and noticed a bug which I quickly fixed. After that, I moved on to email confirmation. And again, while testing, I discovered a bug. The system couldn't find a user in the database using the token from email. I looked at the code and decided to rewrite this functionality using an approach that is already implemented in the framework itself. I changed the code related to generating a token for email confirmation. The previous functionality used Redis, but for now I don't plan to work with Redis because I'll be deploying the backend on serverless, and I don't want to make additional configurations at this stage. So, the tests were done and I was ready to leave the hotel. I decided to take another walk around the city before heading home. Yeah, it was a one-day trip, but I felt a bit sad about having to leave the city. Even though it happens quite rarely, I am always happy to make such trips even if they are not too far away. Well, let's summarize. Over the day and a half, I walked around a beautiful city, prepared tasks in Trello for my project, added user creation functionality and managed to test it, though not without issues. I think it's a pretty good result. By the way, on my way home I realized that I added a bug to the code template of the basic database model, which in some cases blocked the creation of a record. I fixed it right on the bus and pushed all the commits to my repository. Thank you so much friends for watching this video, I really appreciate it. See you next time.